Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning case study 4. I have picked up this from sample paper 2021 and we have moved on with the next chapter that is polynomial. First three case studies were based on real number. Here in this chapter we have a parabola. This curve is called as parabola. The U-shaped curve is called parabola. What is parabola? A graph of a quadratic equation. When we plot a graph of quadratic equation, we get this curve and that curve is called as parabola. Now standard form, let me tell you more about parabola. How do we get it? Here if you read in this question that parabola are symmetric and about a vertical line known as axis of symmetry. And the maximum and minimum point. So this is an add-on information for you which will help you for the further case studies also. So standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. I will split this quadratic equation in the form of quadratic part and this is linear part. So graph for the this parabola will be drawn only of the quadratic part here this way. For example, if the equation is 2x square plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0, so the graph will be drawn only for y equal to 2x square. So you will decide the value for x and you will get the values of y which will be plotting here. And for example, if you take 1 and then take minus 1, 2, minus 2, so that you will get the symmetry here, the curve will be same in this case. Now, what is this vertex? The minimum point of this one where it will both the side it will start that is called as a minimum point and it is also called as vertex and this maximum point it, whichever point you take it as a last one that would be a maximum point over here and the line passing through the maximum value to the through the vertex is called vertical line axis of symmetry because both the side it will be similar now if at all the same example, I will take y equal to minus 2x square plus 3x plus 4. Now we have a negative sign. So our graph will be drawn for minus 2x square. So the curve here, parabola will be inverted in this way. I hope you got it. What is the concept of the parabola? How it is drawn? Just to understand things which will help you to solve the questions. Okay, first question, if the highway overpass is represented by x square minus 2x minus 8, then is zeros are, okay, split the middle term, we have factors for 8, so x square uh, minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0, so you can factorize final answer, we will get minus 4 will be plus 4 and x equal to minus 2, so here we will get minus 4 and minus 2 has our answer. Then, second question B, the highway overpass is represented graphically. Zeros of polynomial can be expressed graphically. Number of zeros of a polynomial is equal to number of points which the graph of the polynomial intersect. If you remember your exercise 2.1, there you have done the graph like this it will be or sometime given and here so. We will look out for the point, intersecting point only on x-axis, not on the y-axis. Though the curve intersect y-axis, we don't take it as a 0. We take only on the x-axis. So answer here is intersects x-axis. So zeros are decided with the x-axis. Then coming on with the C, graph of quadratic polynomial. I have been talking about it. It is parabola. Okay, here representation of highway underpass so is 1, 0 is 6 and sum of the zeros is 0. Okay, let me assume here alpha and beta are the two zeros. So, 1, 0 they have given 6. Sum of the zeros is given as 0 here. So, we will find this beta value, the other 0, beta will be minus 6. Now what they are asking us to form a quadratic equation using alpha is 6 and beta is minus 6. So here we have a formula alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta 0. So this is a standard form to frame a quadratic equation. x 
square as it is this becomes 0 because our this is into x so 0 into x is 0 plus 6 into minus 6 so here we have our answer minus 36 so this will be x square minus 36 then last question number of zeros that polynomial see usually student decide by seeing the equation that the degree uh, highest degree is 2 so the answer will be that is the zeros also will be 2 no please check out x square plus 4 minus 4x plus 4 i have put here a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab and this 4 as it is so we come up to quadratic equation 4x plus 8 now try to factorize this equation do you have factors for 8 8 comes in table 8 into 1 and 8 comes in table 4 into 2 so 8 into 1 is not possible which will not fit in here 4 into 2 also will not fit in in this for the stipulating middle term so this equation do not have factors so the number of zeros here are zero if at all you are not convinced with this part best way to find out is discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac here in this case you will get that is 16 minus 4 into 1 into 8 i have just taken a b and c this one our quadratic equation part 16 minus 32 minus 16 if discriminant is less than 0 negative answer then where roots are imaginary no real root exists if discriminant is equal to 0 and discriminant is greater than 0 positive value it will exist the zeros exist if it is quadratic then 2 will be there hope you understood the concept more than the case study which will help you for the further case studies.